Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I made this gorgeous silk 1950s cocktail dress for my cousin's wedding and I thought I would show you how I did it. I used two patterns. The first is this Vogue V8615 dress pattern which is my favourite and most used dress pattern and I also used this vintage simplicity pattern and altered it a little but unfortunately both are no longer available. However, a great alternative for both bodice and skirt is the Vogue V9197 pattern, which is at a very easy skill level. I used three beautiful navy fabrics. For my lining, I used this light fine cotton. For my main fabric, I used this absolutely divine silk satin that moves like water and is incredibly comfortable to wear. For my sheer back and sleeves, I used this silk with a very open weave, which I edged with silk bias binding made from my main fabric. I started by altering the bodice back piece and created a new pattern piece that is basically backless. I then cut out my pattern pieces in the lining only. Always start with your lining first if you aren't going to make a proper mock-up in calico. Something you should always do that makes shaping a garment easier is mark your small and large circles using thread. Use this to guide you in stitching the darts in the bodice. Once you have shaped the lining and you're happy, move on to the outer fabric and do the same process following the pattern's instructions. I only have lining for the bodice front piece as my bodice back is a sheer silk and putting lining under it would stop you being able to see through it. Next, you will need some bias binding before you proceed any further. So here is how. In today's lesson, I'll be showing you how to make bias binding. The first step is to cut strips of about 5 centimeters wide on a 45 degree angle, or as close as. Next, you need to iron your strips in half with right sides outwards. Finally, fold each long edge in to meet the center fold line. And you're done! Stitch your bias binding down the centre back edge of your sheer silk. Stitch your sleeves together and use bias binding to conceal and protect the exposed sleeve seam. This makes it comfortable and durable. Next you want to attach your sleeves to your outer bodice. To do this, turn the sleeves right way out, line them up with the bodice right way out as well, making sure to match the notches, and then poke the sleeve through to the inside of the bodice. Ease the gather stitch on the sleeve, pin in place and stitch around the armhole. Now attach your bodice front lining piece around the neck edge only. Pin, stitch and then cut notches around the neck edge to ease the shape. Turn right way out, then fold and pin the lining at the shoulder and side seams. Hand stitch along these edges making sure you conceal your stitches on the inside fabrics only so you don't see it on the outside. Ease the armhole with notches and cut the excess seam, then add binding right around the armhole and cuff of the sleeve. The bodice is now finished. Moving on to the skirt pattern. Okay, so I thought I would just explain this now rather than doing a voiceover later because I think it'll probably make more sense and be a bit easier to understand. So I have my drawings of my skirt pattern pieces. This one is the front and this one is the back. Um, as you can see, I've added two centimeters to the fold line here, just because I know that this pattern piece is a little bit too small for me um, and it's a set size. Um, then what I've done is I've got, I'm going cutting normal 20 centimeters down and then I'm adding a bit of a kick out to 17 centimeters out to the side here. So if you actually have a, look, have a look on the fabric, I've added my two centimeters here, and then I go down 20 centimeters as normal, and then this is my cutting line all the way out to 17 centimeters, and then I'm cutting along this line because this is cocktail length rather than full length. Then I also have my back pattern piece which does exactly the same thing, except I am adding a seam allowance as well to the two centimeters. So two centimeters for added size of the width um, because the pattern piece is a bit too small. Then one and a half centimeters for the seam. Um, so that's three and a half centimeters in total. So you can see here that I've added my three and a half centimeters in total here. And then I have my extra cutting line all the way down like this. 
Cut out your lining and outer fabric pattern pieces and starting with the lining, stitch right sides together leaving the back open. Overlock the seams of the skirt lining. For the outer fabric, I chose to stitch French seams as they conceal all open edges, they're great for lightweight fabrics and they look very elegant in silk. To do this, pin the silk side seams wrong sides together and stitch about 0.8 of a centimetre seam. Trim the seam allowance down to about half a centimetre. Turn right sides together and press down this seam line. Stitch a one centimetre seam with right sides together, open and iron flat. Next, stitch in your invisible zipper. Now, if you don't know how to stitch an invisible zipper, there are so many videos and blogs about it. Just do a quick Google search. You then need to close up your centre back seam below the zipper. Take your time to get this right so it sits flat and smooth. Time to attach the bodice to the skirt. Mark the centre front on both the bodice and the skirt and matching those right sides together. Pin around the waistline and stitch. Okay, it is now time to attach my skirt lining to my dress. Now normally your waist seam would go up into the bodice like that and be concealed by the lining of the bodice and a nice sort of hand stitch run along there. I'm not going to do that because if I have my waistline seam going up into my bodice, you will see that at the back because I have this beautiful sheer silk. So instead my waist seam is all going to go down into the skirt. And to do that, I'm going to attach my skirt lining this way, just like this. Um, so I'm going to match up the edges of all of this waistline seam plus the waistline end edge of my uh, skirt lining. I'm going to stitch through all of these layers of this seam along this sort of line about here. So sort of close to this stitching line, but not too close. And then once that's stitched, I'm going to pull the skirt back the other way. So the way it should sit when it's being worn. And I'm then going to top stitch along the top here. And that will pull the waistline seam down. It's pulling the lining down and that will hopefully then conceal everything and look nice and neat. Finish the centre back seam by folding in the lining to match the edge of the zipper and hand stitch in place. On to a few finishing touches. Use fabric glue to seal the ends of some one metre lengths of bias binding. Once dry, stitch down the lengths of the bias binding and attach this to the underside of the centre back about 5 centimetres down from the shoulder seam. Hand stitch in place without stitching to the outside. Finish the hem of the skirt with a simple overlock and turn hem on the lining and a bias binding and hand stitched hem on the outer silk fabric. Finally, add in some cups to the lining of the bodice and a hook and eye above the zipper. The dress is now complete. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.